Amen. All right. Amen. We're ready to rock and roll. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to our evening, our Wednesday evening Bible study here at the church. We're so happy to be here today at noonday. We had a lively conversation. We opened up the floor to receive questions from persons regarding Sunday's ser sermon and anything related to that. And we had a jump off of of questions and it was just awesome. So I'm anticipating tonight that we're going to have some more great discussions, we're going to have some more great questions, and we're going to have a more lively discussion. Look, this is what we're going to do. We're going to open up with a word of prayer. We normally do that. What we're going to do, if there are any questions about Sunday's sermon, about anything you've been reading or studying or as you're growing in faith, we want you to ask those. And once we have filled in all the questions we have tonight, then we'll jump back into our study, all right? So here, let's have our opening word of prayer. Dear Father God, creator of the heavens and the earth, God, we thank you for this day. For this is the day that you have made, God. We are rejoicing. We are glad in it. And God, we pray at this time, God, that you allow your grace, your love, your wisdom, your mercy, your everything to rest rule and abide in this place. Allow your Holy Spirit to fall down upon this place. Amen. Uh, to, to fall down upon this place. Allow God your love uh, to, to, to reside within each of us so that as we share God, as God, uh, we, we, we fellowship with one another. That God, not only are we encouraged and empowered, but God, we are in communion and fellowship with our brothers and our sisters. Now, God, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity. And God, we pray, not only for those who are here, but those who are on their way, those who want to be here but couldn't be here, those, God, who are looking for a church home and don't even know that you're going to send them here, God, we pray that you will bless them. God, we pray for those people who are going to join us by Facebook. Facebook Live, Periscope Live, and even YouTube uh, later on this evening when we upload the video to YouTube. God, we thank you, we love you, we honor you, we cherish you. It's in your son's mighty matchless, marvelous, magnificent name that we do pray. Amen. Amen. So let's have our Q&A session. If there is, as we as we before, if you have a question about anything I've said during the sermon, amen, you can ask. If you've been studying your word or you've been interacting with friends, family, and having discussions about the word, you got a question that's come up, that's fine. Or even as you're growing in faith, you got a question, please, uh, please share it with us. And let me tell you why. You don't know what someone else is going through, what they're dealing with. They may have the same question you have, they just don't have the words to articulate the question. And your God gets a two for one, a three for one, a four for one by your question, all right? So here, let's open up the floor. If you got any questions or anything, we're going to receive them. Amen. <laughs> you got one for me? Okay. Oh, I'll come to you, Doran. Here's one. Uh, why is it so often uh -huh. that I see in a lot of marriages or uh -huh. like in the marriage group that I'm in, uh -huh. in certain groups and stuff like that, there's always this, I'm not going to say competition, but there's always the question of who comes first, the parents or the children? So you're asking me why is there this like I said, not a competition, debate. but this debate yeah. going on. Of, in the, in like, the, in a, in a, who, like, who gets served first, your husband or your child? Or who do you put first, your husband, your, your, your children or your husband? Why does there, does there even have to be a debate? Why should the, 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 and honest, me personally, honest, I don't think there should be a debate. Be, because he, here's the thing, all right? Mm -hmm. First of all, we're talking about two different types of ministries here. We're talking about the husband and wife being unified as one, okay? Anytime that we're preparing meals, we shouldn't just be preparing for one and not the other. Really, we should be preparing meals for everyone. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Like when I cook, I don't prepare a meal just for my wife and I. I prepare a meal for myself, my wife, and the kids. Because we all eat at one time. Now, the, the problem is, lately there's this idea of service what it means to serve, okay? Um, my kids are at the age that they can't serve themselves. All right? I've got a one-year-old and a five-year-old. 
She better not, my fire better not reach up to that stove because she'll end up burning and hurting herself, pulling food down on her. So it's not even an issue, all right? And many times when I cook and I set the table and I put the food on the table, I put it on the table at the same time for everyone, all right? Here's the thing. My wife and I both love our children to death that we would rather eat last to make sure they have what they need. And then we want to make sure each other has something, all right? So in my book, I know all this old school thing is when you have the woman that cooked the meal and she was the only one to cook. And many times, you know that was? And her husband didn't know how to cook because at that time, no one was taking the time to domesticate men. Men were thought to go out and, and, and Brother Rose, you hear you old enough to test about this. Men were expected to go out and do the hard labor, the manual labor. They would go out to earn the money and do all this. They were never there at the house. They spent, we, now we do eight hours, but back then, the, the men worked as long as they could. If, if you had a 12-hour day with the sun, they were gone for 12 hours. And they got as much work as they could to make as much money as they could to provide for the house. So at that point, yes, when, the, when the, these men came in from working, sweating, tired, aching muscles, yes, the, 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 the wives would serve their husbands because at that point, the, these men were, were so exasperated, so tired, you couldn't really expect them to do a whole lot of labor when they got to the house, all right? That made sense. But here's the thing. What kind of sense does that make? Because I know Brother Rose said this before in the Bible, said he cooks. Uh, he can cook. I do too. What kind of sense does that make for the two of us to cook our meal, get everything ready, we're the cooks, not our wives, then sit down and say, hey, come put food on my plate. I mean, we're the cooks. That's different if Nicole is cooking and she's, she's like, what do you want? And she'll make my plate for me. That's different. But for me to be cooking, I'm, I've set the table, put the food on the table, called everyone to dinner. Then I plop down and said, okay, you know what? Hey, babe, you're my wife. Put my food on my plate. That's, that, what that is called is making her so servient to me. All right. Uh, and it, it, it is. And it, it is. You know what I'm saying? In other words, for example, I appreciate, I appreciate when Nicole throws clothes in the laundry for me, but I can do it too. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong, and it's not a, it's not a, it's not a weakness. In fact, the Ephesians 5, 25, actually 21 to 35, it first starts off with, husbands and wives submit to each other as is right according to God. Then it goes, why submit to your husband as he is the head of your house, as Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Then it jumps on the men. For the rest of that, those scriptures, the brothers got a lot of work to do. We've got to uh, give ourselves, and it's still a submission requirement. We've got to give ourselves to our wives, you know, sacrificing ourselves as Christ sacrificed himself for the church. we got to make sure you're spot free, blemish free, wrinkle free. Uh, static clean free you know it, it, we, we've got to love you like we love our bodies because no man hates his own body but he nourishes it same thing we've got to leave our mamas and daddies and cling to you you know especially when some of y'all don't want to be clung to we, we still got to find a way to cling to you we got a whole lot of stuff to do and all you got to do is just submit to us you go to a marriage council, I mean, a group for within married women. It's, it's a, like a group on Facebook of married couples. Okay. That, that we all just talk and discuss on different topics and just different things that's going on, saying a prayer to each other and just talking about married life. Mm -hmm. Well, to go back to what he was saying, because I think that uh, uh, a lot of people don't understand the definition of being married. Right. <laughs> well, Mary has an uh, order. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go so far as to say this one here. Not with the intent of neglecting, but the husband and the wife are basically becoming one in a family. Yes. That's, that's the first thing. Yes. But there's always it's a misunderstanding of that because uh, a lot of times the wife can show more attention towards the children, children. Yes. than she does the husband. And in most cases, though, most 
women don't ever leave home. I'm their mother's house. That sounds funny, but that's this is the truth. Mm -hmm. And this is why we're running in a whole lot of trouble now, mm -hmm. because of the fact that the Bible tells us about uh, man and a woman. You are supposed to cling to your mate. Right, cling to one another. Cling to one another. That's the first order of, of direction. Mm -hmm. And and in the meantime, but you are to separate from your parents. Right. And it's so many marriages, so messed up. Because they never follow that order. They never separate from the parents. They don't ever separate from the parents. Now, for your children, keep one thing in, in mind. Your children are never supposed to be looked at as permanent residents. Your children are to be raised, birthed, raised, and trained, but the main objective is to prepare them to, to move on, on in life. You grow and get them out the house. Right. Huh? You yeah. grow and get them out the house. That's right. See, that's the whole thing. And and uh, uh and so that's why the whole thing is really not working. I see we're doing it because we hadn't been instructed to what order the Lord is, is talking about, what goes on in the proper marriage, whatever it may be another. Mm -hmm. Uh so many uh parents uh put their children first before they do their own way. You notice that back in the old days, since you're talking about how old I am. <laughs> uh when they sit down to a Sunday dinner, the man got the best part of the chicken. Big piece of chicken. Because one thing, it was right for this to happen, but guess who earned the chicken? Per se. Are you with me in anything? So he is supposed to be, a man is supposed to be the king of his castle. But very seldom this happens. Because if you are not taught this at home in that right. order, right. You always is going to keep on doing it the wrong way because you keep what they amass. Whenever you do something in your marriage and the way it's supposed to be done, uh, husband or wife, that person is accountable to God. So you got to keep it in that. If you're not doing, if you're not following His own, see, when God spoke everything, He did it in order. Mm -hmm. And that's where our biggest problem is right now on this earth in life. We don't follow his order. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, because, like you said, we, the, like you said, the husband and the wife, they become one. So, so, so the, it, it, in becoming one, the issue is never who, who which one serves who. Because, right. because in becoming one, the, the focus is on serving each other. Amen. And it, this, this, in fact, you remember doing your counseling, I, I showed you this sometimes, that Rodney is going to have the answer because Rodney has the experience. But Rodney, sometimes there's going to be times when Kristen has the answer because Kristen has experience. That doesn't, and, and because Kristen on that issue may have the answer, doesn't mean that that she doesn't love you. You bless God that God gave you a woman that could, for whatever you're missing, she could put, she could fill it in. And you're exactly right. I want to comment now on that particular area. I've been married for 55 years. And yet, there are many times in my marriage, I don't even have to tell my wife what to cook. But she, through, us, through the Spirit, will fix what I want. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you something else, you forget, I'm talking about the closeness of a man and a woman in the marriage now. Uh, but a lot of times, this doesn't happen because there's so much confusion in the household mm -hmm. that the Spirit cannot and, take and, its place. Because another thing you were talking about, I see it a lot is, for example, a, a man and a woman fall in love and get married. But the, the woman's mother is so, it, it's so the woman and her daughter, the, the woman and her mother are so interconnected that what happens, the, if there's a competition, the competition <coughs> arises between the husband and the mother-in-law. That's right. Because the mother-in-law has spent so much time providing for her daughter, uh -huh. the, she, she becomes, she, and I would say concerned, but it, she becomes, she comes to a place where she is wants to show the husband that no matter what he does for her, he'll never be able to replace her in doing for the daughter. Mm -hmm. And so what and you're exactly right. And, 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 and so what happens? What happens? Many husbands. Mm -hmm. Are having problems with their wife, not because necessarily it's the wife that's doing something to the husband. 
it's the mother-in-law yes. who, who hasn't learned the boundary. Yeah, just, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, this boundary. Yeah. Uh, uh, and whatnot. Yeah, it, well, it, that's, that's not the problem we have. My mom definitely is. But, but no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. For me, it just. I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying. Yeah. You I mean, I understand what you're saying. What for me, what I think is funny is because you can definitely tell the difference in the ages mm -hmm. in the people in the group depending on. What was said? How they feel, mm -hmm. or or their stance. Mm -hmm. Because where some of the younger couples are a little more progressive as far as saying, you know, we work and we strive together. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when when I'm doing this, he's doing this. Or if I'm not, you know, not there. We don't really conform to the gender roles as much as but, but, some of the older couples, where it's like, okay. I go to work, I do this, so when I come home, I expect a hot meal on the table and, and right. this, that, and the other thing. And some of the, the older women, they're upset because they're like, I work too, but yet you still expect me to come home right, right. and cook. And, 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 and now, 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 remember, during a time, there were some men that will lord it over their, their, their wives, their spouses. In other words, they were taking advantage of, the, of, of, of this scripture. And they were mistreating their, their spouses. Let's, it happened, okay? But let's not pretend that it didn't happen. However, okay, and I get, I get that. Uh, but what... I guess what we're saying right here, right now, is if we are focused on being what God wants us to be to one another, there isn't a competition. Uh-uh. There, there's togetherness. If, if me and Nicole are doing what we need to do as one, there's never an issue about our kids because our kids are loved within a, an appropriate space. That their love, that's our children, but then there's this love the two of us have. Yeah. And when we need to carve out space yeah. for the two of us to get to loving as husband and wife, yeah. we carve that space out. Through it's not even involved. Right. So give you give you give you an example. A couple weeks ago we had tickets to go to a play. Well, we treated that as a date night. I called my mom. Because my mother law had it in the daytime. I called my mom and said, Mama, I need you to get up at night so we can go out. And so, of course, we're leaving. We can't go. We want to go to dinner. You can bring it. No. Mm -mm. No. You stay here with Grandma. We ordered pizza for you with Grandma. You're going to stay here. We went and spent time for us yeah. so that we could connect. Okay? When we go, when we do anniversary trips, we don't do the anniversary trip with them. You know, we have a family trip with them. But we don't do the anniversary because that's our time. In fact, now I'm making you laugh for Valentine's Day. I won't take my wife out. For, for that, because I knew I had to come back to Valentine's on Wednesday, so I knew I had to come back. So let me take you to lunch. So what happened, both our schedules worked to the point where we had a late lunch, really an early dinner. And so she's like, at this point, we're not going to be able to eat because we'll have to get up and go get the kids. I said, well, why don't you get the kids and bring them on? I said, so with this Valentine, we'll make an exception. They, they'll be my Valentine's too. So all, all four of us went to eat for dinner. But the plan, because she even said it, she, she, she said, I, I love them being here. But I was really looking forward to it. I said, I know. But the reality is, we ate so late. One, I had to get back here. And two, by the time we would have sat down, it would be time for me to leave, to go get one of them, time for her to leave. So we just got them and brought them with us so that we could have more time together. And I said, but now, now, now get this, all right? So like in my house, Friday night tends to be the family night. We spend time together. But here's the thing. We will pre up that sometime for the two of us. But I'm saying I'm saying all that to say that there should that this issue should never be a competition issue. And the problem is, is what what you're saying. I think what you are starting to say, Rodney, where where there is this uneven giving of attention. All right. Now here's the thing. It doesn't have to be equal. It needs to be equitable. Okay. You know what equal is? I get fifty. You get fifty. I may not need 50%. I may only need 25% of your time. And I may and I only need it on two days of the week. So if you give me that 25% on those two days, they can have the other five days because my tank is full. She may 
Now she may say, I need four days with you. All right, so I got to figure out what four days of the week I got to get some time in with her. Whatever it takes to fill our tanks and to be loved is what we do. But it's never a competition. Yeah, and it was crazy because that's what I was I'll saying. I'll come back to you. I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I was saying, you know, it's not always a set order. Sometimes I give Friday the first plate. Sometimes I give Dorian the plate, first plate. It depends on what's going on. If Dorian's running a little late and he needs to get in that tub, I'll give him his plate first so he can hurry yeah, up. And get in that, that tub. tub. Amen. 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 It all depends on what's going on, but there's no big deal because, like, one of the men was like, "That's disrespectful." The man of the house is always supposed to get the first plate. No, like, well, well, we know what area you're from, right? And that's exactly what I was talking about. It depends on you, by, you know, some of the responses depending on what area, area you, you from. Right, right. Because it's never been a big deal with us who got the first, first plate. plate as long as we all ate. Right. <laughs> right. 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 As, long as, big as long as as, as we all ate and got full, we're good. Right. 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 We will, uh, at first of all, we will, uh, he has different plows uh -huh. for different trying to, uh, to prepare the ground. Thank mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. Now, he had one big old plow that he used to move the big rocks. Uh -huh. Are you with me there, then? Mm -hmm. But he may have another plow to move the not so large rock. Right. And vice versa, to get down to fine tune it. That's what we y'all get them. I'm trying to get it fed back in. Oh, and so by the second this over. So what is he doing? Now one thing, and now this is one thing. That farmer knows is gonna take different devices for different subjects. Right. So what is it now? Now but you can't clean that field yourself. No, because you we don't have the experience. You don't have the experience, and I'm gonna tell you something else. All of us is full of defective characters. Mm-hmm. Are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. Every last one of them. Amen. And so so this is what I'm talking about. Catch what I'm saying. Uh, the Holy Spirit has to fine tune that ground. Yes. He's the one who has to uh, take out these little rocks because the little rock keep that bad in mind. Mm -hmm. It's more detrimental than what that big rock is. Because you don't see that little rock. Mm -mm. And in the meantime, what he does is this though. But that little rock will keep that farmer from producing fruit. Mm -hmm. Are y'all just being that? Now, now I'm glad you got me something that because the fact that no, she said she had a problem with her mother, and that's a blessing. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the families right now, and that's what they're going through with. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people trying to satisfy their parents. Mm -hmm. Well, they supposed to have left them long ago after they came from the altar that Sunday mm -hmm. or whatever day they got married. Uh -huh. They supposed to leave their wife, I mean, their parents right there and there. Mm -hmm. The separation saw right there. And so by the same thing, this don't off. But it's a whole lot of devices that cause those 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 uh, weddings to to flaw. Mm -hmm. Because here we go again, defective care, defective right. care, right. defective care. Right. I'm gonna say this to you now. One thing that'll start helping you watching this. I noticed that one thing about uh, since I've been married to my wife. In fact, I do, I noticed this uh, one day this week. I was looking through some drawers that she had upstairs. Uh, and what I'm looking for, I'm looking for, I wasn't looking for. I had been last week to the place and bought, bought new uh, face cloth yes, and uh, wash cloth. But when I looked in this drawer, lo and behold, guess what she had in the drawer? Wash cloth. No, new wash cloth. I'm going to tell you something, and you're going to learn this as you keep going and you're married and everything. Up. Everything that you need, your husband probably has it, mm -hmm. or vice versa. Are you with me there, man? Mm -hmm. I said, I said no, I'm scared about this stuff. See, but it takes time. I told you it's got to be fine-tuned. Mm -hmm. And it can't be fine-tuned by nobody but the Holy Spirit. Right, right. Are you with me there, man? Mm -hmm. oh, see, all of us is full of defective character. Amen, amen. And, are you with me there? And, and basically, our biggest characteristic that controls us more so than anything else is selfishness. Yes, yes. You, right, did you hear that? Let's say it's talking about selfishness. In other words, how does this benefit me first, me only, me only, me last? That's right. I, I, you, you'll be surprised. And, you, you, and, and, and in fact, this is something that some pastors and I were talking about. 
and what we've noticed. In this day and age, persons, both men and women, have the chance to develop professionally at a quicker rate than they did back in the day. And so what's happening, a lot of persons are choosing to establish themselves professionally before they get married. So like with my parents, my parents are about your age, uh -huh. uh, when they come to school, they decide they want to get married and develop it as a professionally as a as they develop marriage. I got you. If, if my generation, we have persons that will get married, I'm gonna get professional, and then and I'm gonna get married. Then get married. That's right. And so the problem is, we have spent ten to fifteen years after school developing our own lives. Yes. We bought property. Yes. We've we've attained certain economic status. Yes. And so what happens? The more we get the more we become fearful of someone taking, taking it from, from, from us. So what happens when we meet someone and, we, and we, we, we're considering marriage, the first thing we start, especially we got people around us who, 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 who may be giving us the wrong counsel. Amen. Who may be saying just, Man, don't let him take that from me. Don't Pre let her take that from me. Pre you, 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 you said the word again. Prenup. Prenup. And, 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 and I, I said all the time, yeah. if you need a prenup to get married, you're not you're ready, not ready, to, be, you're not ready to be married. And so what happens, we become so focused on what we have yes. that we we expect, uh, are you paying attention to that? We expect the person to come into marriage to do to do this, to protect what we have and ensure we no matter what the marriage has, uh -huh. we don't lose what we have coming in. Right. And so what happens, we instead of from day one, we started down this road to create we. We, we start off with me. That's right. And making sure I'm good. Amen. And then maybe we'll get to we. Amen. And so what happens? We have this selfishness. And that's selfish. That's right. And we have this selfishness. And it prevents the this new person. That, you know, this person that's y'all, the two of you supposed to be becoming one. He's not even in the picture. And here's, here's the thing. Because Sure. 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 They did it like that way. They did it like that way. As far as, well, you have this going for you, and you're doing this, and you're doing this. What does the other person have? Really, Rodney? So on, on, on Facebook, right, you're, going, you're, going throw, you're going to throw under the bus on Facebook and YouTube. You, so that they can part. hear all that. We are. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that, Periscope fam. <laughs> but, but honestly, like, because that's the way they thought right. that it was about financial security. Mm -hmm. Like, anybody that you get that you get with is supposed to have X, right. Y, and Z right. before you even entertain right. getting with them, right. let alone right. having kids or getting right. married. Right. I was looking for something different. Mm -hmm. So if she didn't understand where you, what you, where your, your position. Well, my position when I got with him, she didn't understand that I was looking for a different kind of security. Right. I could do financial, no problem. Right. For me, it was more of a an emotional. You want to be emotionally security. emotional security. I I wanted that that real love, that security, mm -hmm. that person that you could go home to mm -hmm. and like that understands and that you can talk to and that you can relate with. Okay. You don't have to have money to have it. No. You, you, you don't you don't have to have money And but while money is great, fine. Well it's not in all that's deal. something you can obtain together. That's not right. something that you automatically have to right, right. have to have. You can build together is what I what I would say And I I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it'll be yeah, and I, I don't know if it's maybe a generational thing, uh, or what? Because a lot of people let me, let me tell, that, let me tell, let me tell that you in the group let, are like her. Let, let, let me tell you, tell you what that is. Okay. <laughs> if your history is one where you did not have a lot to begin with, then what happens for you when, when it comes down to your children? You don't want your children in the same boat. It's understandable. Grandma and granddad did not want their children growing up with the same struggles they had. So they did everything they could to put their kids through school. My grandfather and grandmother were adamant about education. They knew, because both of them probably only had a third or fourth grade education. 
And it's amazing what they can do with it. But they knew that if their children want to have a better life, they needed an education, okay? And they wanted their children to be with people that have an education. That only made their children now say that my children have to go further, right. okay? It's and, a demand on, on, on the human race. Right, right. It's, it's, it's a demand. The problem is, is when we can, when we cannot <coughs> separate our mental, emotional, spiritual wellness yes. from our physical, financial, uh, sure. eco economic uh, security, okay? And here's the thing. I say this to people all the time. I know lawyers, doctors, architects, engineers, banking executives that make boo cool amount of money. Yeah. They got so much money that if they write the check, the bank will bounce. Yeah. But guess what? There's no love in their house. Miserable. Because you know what? It, and I can't get people to understand this. The more you go up the ladder, the more demands it takes from you, including your time. And so here it is. We want all this economic success. We don't want to struggle like mom and dad did. In fact, I actually think there's something to be said about the struggle that mom and dad went through because it made mom and dad. Let me tell you, my, my, my father, I remember this about 15, 20 years ago. My father ran into a, a financial issue and he was concerned about it. And this is what my mom said. She said, baby, you're not be concerned about it. I ain't going nowhere. I was here when we were poor. I was here when we started making money. I'm here now. We don't been through too much again. I got your back on this. We gonna fight this one, all right? Whereas at the same time, I saw another couple where the wife's like, "Okay, well, I'm gone because you're not gonna make this anymore. You're not gonna have this anymore." And I'm accustomed to this lifestyle. And the problem it, 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 it is this: there are a lot of married people that are laying in beds miserable because the only thing they have to hold is their money. Let me give y'all a quick. Quick uh, example, mm -hmm. and this will tie in what she's saying. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple weeks ago, a lady go off to me and says, uh, uh, I want you to give me some money for X, Y, Z. I say, uh, well, how much money do you want me to give you? She says, uh, I don't know, between uh, 50 and $100. I said, no, no, no. You be specifically what you want me to give you. Right. Now, I want this lady to hear what I'm saying here, too. And so what it was, that, uh, so she finally got bold enough. She says, uh, Give me a hundred dollars. I said, okay, now here's, I'm bringing to a point to where I'm trying to get us uh, where we really need to be. Mm -hmm. And so I, in turn, I said to myself, I said, uh, I didn't say to her, I said to myself, I said, uh, I wonder why she didn't go to Jesus and tell him to let her have the money. Right. Now, now y'all catch what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And so, now, we would rather go to a human being mm -hmm. to ask them for a favor. Because the human being don't know nothing about us. No. Right, right. But, yeah, but you go to God. God. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm coming over with it. <laughs> and so here's, here's the whole thing right here. The hardest thing to do for a man who doesn't know the Lord is to pray. Mm -hmm. He might say the same thing over, because he don't know nothing else to say. He just mm -hmm. say the same thing over. Uh, and I don't think it's good enough. He spends a small amount of time on his knees before a holy God, because he don't know anything about it. So here's the thing right here, though, and I was saying to myself, and I talked about this in church, and I'm going to go back over this one more time. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is nice, nice, uh, nice here, this is going back to what you were saying now. The Lord said, I will supply your mm -hmm. needs according to my riches and glory. Mm -hmm. He is talking about, he knows everything mm -hmm. that we'll ever need. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it ain't money. Right. You know, going back to what you were saying, money has food, because actually money is in competition with God. Yes, it is. We think that if I had money, I can buy anything I want. I can have this and such and such. Oh, but yeah, we say if I got money, I'm blessed with God. I'm blessed with God. That's right. If I got enough money, I can buy my way in hell. And you gonna buy your way in hell when you gonna wanna do it? But anyway, right. let me let me say this part here to you though. And so by the same time, this though, and and this is what I illustrate this one thing. It's just like coming to church, you know. Now y'all get to hear me on this, and I'm gonna cut it short. Now. <laughs> this will never save you. <coughs> Are you with me then? Yes. The only way you're going to get saved, you got to know the Savior. Mm -hmm. you got to spend that quality time with him. I mm -hmm. told you, now he's going to give you the side of your heart. You know what right. I told you, though? Yeah, yeah. And money, nine to my ten, won't even come into the picture. Right. Because you don't need no money. What you really need is a connection mm -hmm. with the Spirit. I heard the early part of the night about the fact about, I was telling y'all about that rocks, those rocks and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, see, only the, only the Holy Spirit can clean your life up. Like, you can't do it. 
we are so messed up with our character and stuff. We're so messed up. Get back to what I'm saying. So the whole thing in us here is this law, is that she's going to have to do one thing. you got to learn to talk to the provider. Even in your marriage, are y'all with me there then? Oh, he's going to fix it. See, I've been married all these years now. It took all the time. I began to, uh, now I look at it and what I was thinking about today, I'm going to cut it short. I was out there manicuring my yard. And I'm good at my yard. But my wife don't know nothing about no law, I don't know nothing about right. nothing there. Right. Are you with me there then? Right. So what my concern was, wonder how I'm going to get this done once I'm dead and gone. Right. We may say, well then, that's not your concern. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, yes, it, is. yes it is. Because by the same time, no. But by her not knowing, uh, I don't get mad at this. And man, he said about I cook. And I can. I cook right now. I clean the house. I do all. I do it all. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't sit there and say, well, hey, you should be here and you should be doing, uh-uh. Uh, that's my home. Right, right. Are you with me there, right. huh? And the same way, we got to get to that place to feel this way at all. Don't try to see who's, who's equal enough. Right. You do it in your house because it's part of your home and it's part of your Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. Else. And if that person is walking, working against you and not doing their part and all, or with a lazy spirit in them and all, and trying to beat their way through life, oh, you got a God. Amen. And he watches everything. Talk to him. Are you with me? And then, uh, see, what you want to make sure is that you in right standing with him. Right. And whatever it takes. Amen. Amen. And so, and watch and see those to change your life begin to happen. Amen. 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 So, I, I know that this is, that was a short question, a long answer to a short question. <laughs> but, but, but again, the, 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 for, for the Christian, yes. all right, the Christian, hu Christian husband and wife, yes. the competition doesn't exist. Amen. It's, it's not even our, our Amen. In fact, we were, I was uh, talking with someone earlier. No, it was on Inspiration Once this morning when we were doing the prayer conference call and we talked about how there are several churches around here, but you know how we look at each other, we have competition fighting over this small group of people. Yeah. When here's this community that needs to be Stop helped, where, 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 where we should be uniting, it, it shouldn't be unusual for us to come together to work together. Amen. And we, we should be working together. Yeah. The problem is we've allowed the con this concept from the world. The world says competition is good. In fact, our society is built on competition. Yes. This whole laissez fair yes. uh, principle that that yes. that you don't want any government involvement because you want the businesses to compete with each other, and in their competition, the best ones will win and provide the services. Uh -huh. No, what happened? That creates a monopoly. That's where the, the where the where the where the one that wins dictates what the price is going to be, yes. and it's always going to be higher yes. than what we want to pay. Yes. All right. Same thing, competition when it comes into our, into our marriages, into yeah. our homes, yeah. what it does, it makes us feel greater than the other one. Amen. Look now. Yes. yes. And, 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 and here's the thing. Again, remember your marriage is your first ministry. That's right. And remember what Jesus said about ministry. Mm -hmm. Though his, He didn't come to, to be served, He came to serve. Yes. And those who follow Him must do the same. Yes. So in, in your marriage, your idea is to serve. It doesn't matter whether you're well, man or if woman. If you're doing the most, don't make no difference. It don't make no difference because that's your duty. Your, home. your duty is to serve yes. and to take care of your home. Yes. It's, it's funny that you mentioned that because I was having a conversation, as a matter of fact, it was today, about where our communities would be uh -huh. if the churches would actually band together for the community instead of being all we yourself. Put like this: the kingdom. You will see. You will see what the kingdom of heaven looks like if all of us churches are on the same Everybody page. Everybody works together. And, and what's crazy is, like you said, there's such competition between the churches, and it's sad because it's like you're cutting your nose off to spite your face because yes. we're all working to get to the same. Place. Absolutely. I share. I share this Sunday. Two point seven million in this city, and we're arguing over three hundred thousand folks. That's right. Ten percent of that. And what gets me is when you look at the state, just of, just our community alone, uh -huh. and what we could do if some of these yes. bigger churches would actually get together, we wouldn't have yes. the problem that we have. We wouldn't, wouldn't have, have any of that. We wouldn't have any of that. But the problem is, we've allowed the world to infect the church. And what we were talking about is, this is why Christians 
get such a bad light. And 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 why so many people look down on Christians or, or think that yeah. they can't they they can't they can't it's they can't. like how are you so kingdom but you don't even look after your own. And, oh, 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 oh let me say so you talk about what I'm studying now about stewardship uh, motives of the heart. Mm -hmm. But it has to be in your heart. All right. Now, the subject I'm studying about is stewardship and, and godliness. Because we used to always hear that same mm -hmm. thing that the uh, cleanliness is next to God. And that is true, but that ain't about it. Right. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway uh, it also was studying about contentment, mm -hmm. trust. And see, this is the same thing. I'm, the, what I'm talking about now is this now. You notice the first thing of uh, our influence, the word we, we want and don't want to hear. Because you know what? I, but the first thing I want for Peter today, you know, and I had been in uh, maybe a month ago, going on maybe a little bit longer than that. But the first thing I looked at, what did I tell you about? The, the, you saw the chips on the ground. I saw the chips on the ground. See, see I'm saying, and you are exactly right. See, the whole thing is up. You know why I first fellowship is not feeling up? So God said, basically, the one who's in there is not doing anything to draw the people to the church. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me in them? Mm -hmm. See, it ain't about the collections. Mm -hmm. It ain't about the choir. It ain't about the number. He tells you about two, the two or three are gathered together in my name. Mm -hmm. yes, on that. When yes. you in his name and you doing his will, you got more power the whole world yeah. has. And that, that's the scripture. He who is in me is more than he it, who is in me. He who is in the world. And going back to one thing, that's, I live over that in Hidden Valley, I do. And that's all I have done. You go by my house right now, and all, and, and, and it's in order. It's in order. Inside and outside. Why? Because my home is representing the kingdom of God. Right. Are y'all women there? Then? And people see you. I don't know who comes by my house and who watches this that and other. I'm not an accountant, spectator, or compliment. <laughs> but, but in the meantime, this though, whatever I do in my life, and I know you're going to do it too. Uh huh. Don't look at your works. Don't even look at your reward. In fact, Jesus tells not even to count. Don't even count it. What you do is this though. You want to do everything you can to give God the glory. There it is. There it is. And again, and if nobody else does it but you, don't worry about it. Because God got his time set. It is God's will that we become stewards. Not only of your, your, of your, your home, your property around you, your money, your, excuse me, your life, everything. Because everything belongs to who? Oh God. How many of us actually recognize that? But, but you know what? But here's the thing. You should see people's faces on Sunday when we ask them to give. In fact, the service could be high. We all have a good time. We, we say it's now, it's the, now we're at the part of the service where we give our tithes and offering. And I can see on, on many people's faces, look at it. They want my money. But see, you can't do this, Pastor. Right. You no know saying. Until I keep telling you, you got to know who Jesus is. is right, right, right. If you don't know who He is, this ain't nothing but a passing fan. But see, the whole thing is this, though. This is what God is getting us ready because there's gonna be a terrible time getting up coming up on this earth. Amen. I'm cutting it short now, and it ain't gonna matter about who the how if you even still have a home. Right. This thing on this event. But what you want to do is this up. See, you get to know who Jesus is. All by yourself. If the husband don't study, vice versa, if she don't study, vice versa, you right. impact yourself with the word of God. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. We're coming into an era so fast and now, that's the only thing going to matter is do you know him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so I didn't mean to get into all this. <laughs> no, I'm taking this, this, this is part of serious time. This, 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 is, this is part of what we deal with here at Bible study. And I, and I think it's a, it's a great part of what we're dealing with. Because in this day and age, in fact, we I was at a conference last week with, with uh, my fellow mentors and, and the students from the school. And the one thing that many of the uh, instructors who are also pastors were saying that we live in a day and age where persons want to be entertained. That's right. They, they want to come to church because it's entertaining. Yes! Instead, and we, whenever you try to teach sound doctrine, whenever uh -huh. you try to teach them the need, like you're saying, of becoming connected with God intimately, knowing Him intimately, Him knowing us intimately, what happened? People want to leave because that's not entertaining. Here's the thing, 
not not er, er, we are treating entertainment the need for entertainment like the need for anesthesia. And you are exactly right. The brain is alive. Right. We 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 we, we, we the, the word like yeah the word should make us come alive. Yes. How, however, we want to be anesthetized because we don't want to feel any pain. Amen. And here's the thing: the truth is. Uh -huh. If you go to the emergency room and they give you a shot to numb the pain, they, they haven't fixed the problem that's causing you to pain. They didn't the pain. They, eventually that drug is going to wear off, it's going to hurt again. Yes. But if you would go to a doctor yes. who can treat it and say, okay, the reason why it hurts to move your arm like this, you have tendonitis. Yes. I have some medicine I can give you that will get rid of tendonitis. Yes. So then you can move your arm like this all you want to and you're not like, oh, don't touch my arm, it hurts. That's the problem. We don't. We no longer want to come to church to, to to be treated, to get a prescription, and to go through a, a healing process. We want to come in. We want the choir to pump us up. Yes. We want the pastor to preach us happy. Yes. And, then, and, and then we don't want anyone to hold us accountable, Amen. to instruct us, Amen. to inform us of anything. And Amen. we want to go back into the mess we live in. And one thing we get yourself. You were saying this one. Don't forget this. No. Another thing we want to be. See, we want position in God's house and don't even know God. We we, we like James and John. Master, tell us who won't sit on the left and right and right, right, right. side. Amen. And Jesus said, that's not for me to tell you. It's according to who live or close to my power. Right. And, 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 no, and notice he also says, there are some yeah. that will not be there with me. And they're going to say, Father, Father. He's going to say, I get Ooh, away from I, you I, never, it. I never knew you. That's because while we were here, we never took the time to, to, to do anything else but be entertained. You know, I said this, and I don't mind your spirit together. We don't, don't <laughs> worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's what I talked about this past, uh, uh, one day last week. See, the sad part about it is that uh, the reason that same person didn't go to, to Jesus to get her money, because she don't know nothing about Jesus. Right. If she knew, and that y'all catch this, cause I'll tell you one thing, God mm -hmm. probably got y'all saying, fuck mm -hmm. me. See, when you find out who Jesus is, right. you don't need no money, first lady. Amen. Because, see, he maneuvers things in such a way. I told my daughter this very quick, and I told her about the fact, I said, and she's going through a rough time, don't have no job, and I said, I said, sweetheart, keep this in mind. In order for, we're going to celebrate Christmas, I mean, Easter is coming Sunday. But Jesus suffered a whole lot. Imagine a human being couldn't even understand what he went through with. In order for the resurrection to occur. Mm -hmm. Are y'all getting what I'm saying? You got to go through this pain. You got to go through that uh, before you can be resurrected. Mm -hmm. And then, get back to what you said. And so I told the church, I said, you know what? Y'all sit up and all, don't fall in love with your doctor because your doctor can't save you. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? And just what you just told me. I said the sad part about it is that one day you go on the last day and you will stand before him and you will say to him, uh, well, didn't we raise the dead? Didn't we heal the sick? Didn't we uh, tell so and so? And he, his remark will be, uh, depart from me. I never, never even knew, knew, knew you. you. And the question may be, how can I uh, do all of these things and without, with or without Jesus? Because God made us in his image. We can do just about everything Jesus can do itself save ourselves. Amen. You you you're say something. Go ahead, love. It's it just like it's funny because like when I tell some of my friends some of my ideas uh -huh. or, or some of the things that I see that that we can really work on uh -huh. together as just people yeah. and, and, and things like that. Yeah. And it's funny because some people, you know, that get through the scripture and this kind of thing, and I'm like, you, you can quote the, the scripture. But it's in your heart. Amen. 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 Even though I might not, might not know as much scripture. Yes. Yes. It's in my heart to help. It's in yes. my heart to give. Yes. 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 And it's it's funny because even when I'm talking to to you know Christians that are you know that 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 are. Big time, or you know, uh -huh. pastors in their church, or, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. deaconess this, yeah. or prophet is that, uh -huh. or this, that, and the third. 
And you know, and I'm coming up with ideas like, oh, you know, we can really help our community. That's so right. We would all get together. That's we can right. All these houses that are empty. Yes. You know, and we have we're in a Sean is actually in a housing crisis right now. Yeah. And exactly. we can all get together and band together and work, yes. and work it out. You know, we can heal some of these problems. Yes. Yeah. And it's funny because while I'm talking, then I oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, God says this, that, and the third. Uh uh. But it's like, is it in your heart? Amen. Because you're saying amen, this and the third, but is it something you really think about? In fact, there, there's a there's a uh -huh. saying, there's a saying that people would much rather see, see you a live, live a sermon than hear you preach one. Going back to another thing, that's why he told you seek ye first of what? The king. And how what else did he say? Righteousness. And him right. And how what else did he say? Oh. And everything else you need to be added unto you. And, and and it's funny because like when I was telling my friends. When we were in class, and there were, she, the teacher was asking, um, uh -huh. what concentration did we want to go into? Uh -huh. And when I said pastoral counseling, I was the only person in my class. First off, and when I said it, yes. one of my friends was like, I can I see it. There's something about it. Like, I, I, can, mm -hmm. I can see it. Mm -hmm. She was like, you know, there's something about your spirit. I, I can see it. Amen. And a couple others were just like, Oh, I better watch what I say. Uh, yeah. well, and I said, why, why are you always ah, The cause of one thing. What I say. And I'm like, well, you know, anytime you put pastor <laughs> in, into something, you know, you have, you have to speak a certain way. You have to uh, uh, watch what you do. You have to do a certain thing because, you know, you're, you're one. And this is, this is what got me was. He was like, you know, you're, you know, Christians. And I was like, no, I don't know. What, 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 do you, what, what does Christian, being a Christian have to do with it? Amen. I'm just the same. I'm Amen. Just the same I just want to make things better. Mm -hmm. How does that, I just want to make things thing. better and according to God. So how does that, mm -hmm. having to do certain things a certain way? So God called you, see. You were born in life. Uh, and I'll say if I didn't know. You can't get this on your own. And I'm going to tell you something else. You better be thanking God for it too now. You can't even come to Him and let Him call you. Amen. Amen. So you have a calling on your life. Don't worry about it. Because guess what? The Holy Spirit is going to lead you from one step to, to, to the next. Uh, it, it, in fact, in fact it, the interesting thing is this. Um, people... And, and I'm speaking about people who don't understand who God is. Because for him to make that statement uh -huh. that he has to watch it now because he's heard you say pastor in the pastoral counseling. Yeah. He doesn't understand. So he, he, what he's really saying is that before you said it, he thought he was outside the presence of God and he could say whatever he wanted. Yeah. What he didn't understand was He's been in the presence of God every all moment, the time. All the moments of his life. In fact, here's the word. The word is, I'll never leave you all nor forsake you. That means he's there all the time. Yeah. And the word is never I've seen the righteous, the, the righteous forsaken or a seed back and forth. Right. That's there. I will be with you to end of all time. And it's for the Christian, we understand there's never not a time when we're not in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. And so what happens, we we could tell our actions, our thoughts, our speech, because we realize that here we are in the presence of a holy God that requires us to be holy, consecrated, set apart, set aside to be different. So, and so when he said that, he really exposed to you just how much he doesn't understand. Yeah. And then here's another, and this is another thing I hate when folks use these terms, these, these when he says Christians. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna put us all in a boat, mm -hmm. okay? And so, and so he's making no distinction between between. Here, here's the thing: if he if he fully understood the word pastoral counseling, he, he would really understand just what is being required of him. Okay. He wouldn't be worried about you. What required of him? Am I fooled with the role that I'm? I'm. I, I want you to see. I'm going to tell you how close we are to what we just said. I want her to see it. You did. Uh, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children mm -hmm. by Jesus Christ to himself. Mm -hmm. And this is the criterion of it. According to the good pleasures of God's will. 
Absolutely. Are you living in it? Those he knew, he, those he called, he did know. Those he know, knew, he did preordain. Yes. He, he walks through this. In fact, this so this goes back thank uh -huh. you, to the conversation we were having uh -huh. earlier today. Yeah. That's why God is going to witness together. Uh -huh. it, amen. Amen. This is why it's necessary for us to stay within the presence of God so yeah. that God can reveal more of him to us. Because, yeah. get, check this out. I'm in the scripture now. You okay. verified this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Moses went up to the mountain to spend time with God. Yes. And spending time with God, looking yes. at, at the personhood of God, yes. Moses began to radiate God's glory. glory. Yes. Okay? So that when Moses came out, down off the yes. mountain, the people yes. started acting right because they became afraid that God was somehow on Moses yes. because he's radiant. It was so bad that the people said, please cover your face. That's right. Veil you your, your face. That's right. Because, and, I'm, and, and so here's the thing. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying to you. Uh -huh. What the God could have said to you without you realizing, he could have just said to you, veil your face. Because now I'm in the presence of God. You have been with God so much, now you are radiating God. And because you're radiating God, I don't even feel comfortable being me. And that's why they was afraid of you saying something also. See, I mean, you are the last one asked to see God's appearance in you, on yourself. But guess what? I'm saying that. Are mm -hmm. oh, you with me in that? How do we get all of this? And this is what I was, I was saying today. I mean, not today, this is what I've been talking about all week. You have to stay in the world. Yes, yes. And, and it was funny, because like, you saw the whole transformation between what I was originally going for. Right, right. <laughs> to where I am at now. Yeah. And now that I'm almost at the end <laughs> of, of this particular journey and working towards, uh -huh. getting ready to work towards, the next stage of it, and it's just funny how things change and how people look at you differently when a they hear what you what you how you change things or just when they hear as they call my radical ideas of about things that I feel like we could do and it's almost like they expect that just because someone may say I I may say oh I'm, I'm thinking about being a pastor or a counselor counselor that it's like they automatically expect me to just start quoting scripture twenty four seven or or something. It's like you get. I that. don't think you have to quote scripture twenty four seven to get the word across. Uh -oh. you, you just need to walk with integrity. Because I may not know word for word as much as to the next person, uh -huh. but I try to live it as much. All right, that's all. That's, that's all. That's, that's, that's the only requirement. Let me give you another confidence. When Jesus was walking during his teaching, he didn't have no Bible in his hand. He wasn't quoting no scripture. He talked to, he found out what day of that person's livelihood or professorship or the way he make his living, you know, that's what Jesus talked about. Are you with me there now? Mm -hmm. And it no make no difference what your vocation is. God made everything, didn't he? Yes. And so your vocation is not a foreign subject. It's 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 a it's a subject he's aware of. Uh, Doran, Doran, Doran. I'm gonna bless you with one thing too. Okay. Uh, he's telling you to be holy and be faithful. Now, cause see, this is people like this is who he's sending to you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, and, and, and I'm with you. That's okay. That's it. That's it. Don't get all upset. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Cause, cause, get I, again. This, but this goes back to the statement about us competing over sheep. And God has, wait, put your hand down. God has, God has a very specific sheep yeah. that He has in store for 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 first fellowship. I don't know you that. Amen. Amen. I, I, so I, I, so I don't have to worry about uh -uh. the sheep that Bob has, uh -uh. that that Johnny has, uh -uh. that James has, uh -uh. because those are all sheep that God. Specifically made for Bobby, Jan, John, and James. Yeah, he's got a, a specific type of sheep made for Al. But he said, "But my sheep know me by name. Know me by name, and, and they hear my, my and they don't bring nobody else." Right. And so those sheep that God has, mm -hmm. has, 
Yeah, you know, so we're not worried about uh -uh. what we're trying to do though is to help the sheep that God has sent yeah. to be able to live yes. the sermon instead of preach the sermon. Amen. And and, he, and here's the thing, Crystal, let me tell you this. No matter where you go, how high you climb on that thing, on that ladder, there's always going to be someone that will say the same thing to you. As soon as they hear who you are and what you are to God, say I, 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 I got to watch what I say. No, you should have been watching what you said in the very beginning. What happened? You thought I was just anybody, and you were going to act ignorant with me. And so, but here, let me remind you of who I am. And, and, and remind me of who I am so you can take notice. Again, you ain't got to respect me, respect the God I serve. But I tell you something else, though, because there's two sides of that, too. Uh -huh. See, when that person <coughs> saying that, uh, no, I better I've been watch what I say around here, though. Well, see, it's amazing how the Holy Spirit works with us when we get all alone by ourselves. Are you with me, Dan? And we may be saying out there, you know, maybe I ought to stop talking like that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I ought to stop thinking like that. Mm -hmm. Or stop so, acting like that. Are you, or see, you are the light. And that's what God wants us to do mm -hmm. in the world of God. Mm -hmm. Then you just be a light. Amen. Amen. And, and keep this one thing in mind. I can't tell you mm -hmm. what I'm saying. He yeah. said, let your light shine. Don't make it shine. You let it shine. Yeah, and honestly, yeah, that is that actually has happened where I decided I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to keep my stuff to myself because honestly, like, I have all of these ideas or or, or don't get, no yeah, no that that's I'll, 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 that that's like, even with you even with the old church and I have, to, I have all of these ideas and I was like I'm gonna stop bothering you. no 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 uh, no no ideas. no 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 you you. God has placed it in your spirit so that you can share so that you can yes. re reveal it all right yes. because here's the thing. You don't know who around you has been asking God to make this, make it known. This is true. Someone has said, God, if I if I'm not supposed to do this, make it known. If God I'm supposed to do this, know this, make it known. And here he is, he's dropped in your spirit and he said, Go tell Thomas Rhodes. Go let Thomas Rhodes know that. And you don't understand why, because what you're not privy to is a conversation he had that Thomas had. Where Thomas said, God, if I'm supposed to do this, you come tell me. So God said to you, go tell Thomas, get busy. And here you are, you are with God, uh -huh. and he, he doesn't get the answer he's looking for. Yeah, just like, honestly, how many times have I texted you like, hey, Pastor, I got an idea. Uh -huh. Why did Pastor, I was thinking about something. Right. What we've done, we do church. So and, then, and because I keep, I keep, it's like, it's weird. I'll keep having ideas. Or, yeah. or my mom, as my mom said, I have, I have, um, what did she say? Ideas of grandeur. Uh -huh. I guess it's, it's what she called it. And, and, uh, and, uh, and what she's she saying, what she said that, it says that her faith is not big enough to see it, how God is letting you see it. And, but, and, and I'll have these ideas, and then I get to the point where it's like, either I get discouraged because I have all these ideas, and yeah. it feels like, A, either they're unheard, uh -huh. or B, they're bothersome, uh -huh. Or see, that's, that's the enemy messing with It just feels like I have too many. Yeah, that's I the enemy. But that's the enemy. Or, or just if, if 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 God gives you the idea, how dare anyone tell you that the idea is too much? May I say this? Go ahead, go ahead, Doc. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, let your prayer be, Lord. Whatever you ask for me to do is what I do. That's what I do, but I can't do it in my own strength. I have to do it with you. I do it with you. That's what I say. But I'm going to tell you what, I, what has happened to me. Uh, God be infusing so much knowledge into me at time until I tell the Lord, Lord, uh, I can't take no more today. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> well, you but guess what? Everything he teaches me beforehand is a necessity that I'm going to need mm -hmm. later on down the road. Absolutely. Absolutely. After I come in here and everything, I'll, yeah, I'll come over with a whole lot of stuff, but 90% of them don't even know what I'm talking about. Right. Mm. Right. Right. And I ain't trying to be funny about that, dude. No, no. And I, and I said, so, so I'm going to have the last word on this. I, I, I want to give you some encouragement, okay? Uh -huh. You have been fearfully, wonderfully made. Yeah. Commissioned and ordained by God to yeah. accomplish a specific purpose, all yeah. right? Jesus told his disciples when he commissioned and ordained them to go out the ministry, he warned them that yeah. not everyone was going to be receptive That's to right. their ideas. That's right. He said, and what you do, mm -hmm. you kick the dust off of your sandals Move as on. a testimony against them right. that God sent them to deliver the word and they would not receive it. Amen. All right? 
Right. He tells him to move on. That's he right. doesn't tell him to hold it. That's right. He doesn't tell him to pull back. He doesn't tell him to keep on, on preaching. preaching. He keep on preaching. And so you keep on sharing your ideas. You keep yeah. on thinking your ideas. Yeah. You keep on revealing your ideas. Yeah. Because guess what? Eventually you're going to look around and every idea now will become a tangible thing because now it has, it's been potted, it's growing, and it's bearing fruit. Amen. Amen. So let's do this. We've come up on our hour. Let's be faithful. Hey, let's be faithful to our time. Amen. Praise God. Uh, before we close, are there any prayer requests, any prayer concerns we want to talk? Yes. Uh, yes. In fact, I would like to pray for everybody who could have made it but didn't. Sick and shut in. Everybody that's, that did not wake up this morning, their family. Mm -hmm. My landlady, for mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. she knows she needed it. Uh, I just want to pray for this one. Okay. Uh -huh. Amen. And and her journey. Uh -huh. Amen. And what God called her to be. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God. This is one of the main reasons why I was attracted to her. Because Amen. the light Amen. emanating from her uh -huh. Amen. was a lot brighter than my darkness at times. Amen. 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 Glad to hear she, she, Amen. she Amen. has kept me out of some very dark time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And just keep it. That's, that smile she has on her face is so who she wants to be right now. Right. And that smile on her face has, has kept me alone. Yeah. And, and together we combine to make this smile on her face. Okay. Amen. 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 Um, I want to pray for her. Yeah. Pray for this one here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, pray for her mother. <laughs> because uh, we've actually, in our prayers, we've actually seen growth uh, in amen. her mother. Amen. amen. Praise God. Which is a beautiful thing. Amen. Um, pray for you. Thank and you. And your, your day's walk with God. Pray for Brother Rose. Ah, amen. you know my name. You know, for, you know, brother, <laughs> For them times, for them times that you feel that you're overwhelmed with the knowledge that God has given you, uh -huh. I pray for rest. Amen. Amen. In those times, rest, 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 you know, rest and, uh, Amen. Is that right? Rest, rebirth, and rejuvenation. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Um, it, it, any prayer? Go ahead. I have a friend. <laughs> she has a surgery. Me. Well, her name is Shannon, but she's going to be okay. Shannon. Um, that has a surgery tomorrow. Okay. Glad to be back. Um, but I, I had never gone no place. I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on, let's let, 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 let's let's hold hands. You want to go pray with us? Amen. Let, hold your mom's hand. Amen. 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 Dear Father God, creator of the heavens and the earth, God, we come to you right now, God, in prayer, God, laying before you those things, God, that we ask that you would be kind, merciful, and graceful about. Father God, they range from persons, God, that are sick and shut in, persons yeah. Yeah. that are wrestling with medical conditions, God. Yeah. Yeah. And that, God, they just want to be able to have one day yeah. that they don't have to fight the conditions that they, they're fighting against. God, we pray for those persons, God, that are left behind because a loved one went on to glory last night yeah. or yesterday or recently. Yeah. And how they're trying to put the pieces together, how to figure out how they're going to move and what they're going to do. God, we pray right now, God, yes, yes. for Shannon, God, and Cache, God, yes. uh, for, sur for that you'll protect them as they go through their surgeries, God, yes. tomorrow, that you'll protect uh, them as they deal, as one of them deals with their epileptic seizures, God, that yes. God, you will be a healer, a restorer, a, a repairer of the breach, God, yes. that God, yes. you would show up and show out, that Amen. you would be mighty, God, yes. 
so that God we declare that we serve a mighty God Amen. that we serve a loving God yeah. that we serve a restorative God that we yeah. serve a healing God Amen. that God we serve a God that looks sits high and looks low that we yeah. serve a God yeah. that loves us more than yeah. anything God yeah. God we pray for brother Rodney yeah. and sister Kristen God yeah. that as husband and wife yeah. that God you continue to allow them to grow together to yeah. grow stronger together God yeah. that you allow them to complement each other and can help each other when the yeah. other one falls short, God. Yeah. When the other one is lacking, God, we pray, God, that you would allow them to bring the best out of each other and yeah. bring the best out of their son, Dorian. Yeah. That, God, he gets everything he needs, God, yeah. through their love, through their sharing, yeah. through their, God, how they uh, move as husband and wife. Yeah. God, we pray for Brother Rose. Yeah. God, God, you are pouring to him, like yeah. pouring into a pitcher, God. And yeah. sometimes, God, we know it can be a little overwhelming, all that you pour into us, God, but we know, God, everything you're giving us, yeah. you're giving us because we're going to need it in due yes. season. So, God, as you pour it into Brother Rose, yeah. allow him to foul it in his mental roller of debt, so his yeah. spiritual folder, or, yeah. in, or in his spiritual back pocket, so that God, when he comes and encounters some things, yeah. he's able to pull that knowledge out and be able to walk by faith that like you call him. God, we pray for each and every member of this church, God, yeah. that this church will yeah. come to learn and know, God, God, and it's on assignment by you. That God is not by accident that we're here in this community. It's not by accident that we're located where we are. It's not by accident that we associate with each other. We're here on purpose. The call to accomplish a purpose for you on this side of town. God, we pray that God, you continue to use us. That wherever we go, God, you will allow us to let your light shine through us, God. That God, you allow us to let other people see you in us so that they're drawn to us, God. Yeah. God, we pray yeah. that, God, you would already be on our Sunday as we are prepared to celebrate Resurrection Sunday, yeah. that, God, you allow your Holy Spirit to obey this place yeah. so that, God, when people walk in here, they walk in and encounter you face to face. Yeah. Now, Father God, we pray that you keep us, you never leave us, you provide for us, you protect yeah. us so we can return again next Wednesday yeah. for yet more Bible study. Yeah. It's in your son's mighty matchless, marvelous, magnificent name that we do pray. Amen. 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 Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Amen. Amen. Did you ever turn the camera on? Yeah. I think we get a little excited there, brother. Amen. That's all that we do. That is all right if we do.